Hi, so welcome to Motivated Mondays. And I am very lucky to be here with Krista Boudreaux. And we're going to be talking about UPW, Date with Destiny, and how Krista has transformed her life and how she can help you to transform yours. So, hello, thank you for joining me. Hi, good morning. So, I want to ask you what made you decide to go to a seminar in the first place? What was that thing that pushed you and drove you? Um, at the moment, I, um, I've been a Tony fan for about 15 years. <clears throat> I was introduced to him way back in the day in sales and everything like that. Um, and then fast forward almost 20 years, well, 15 years, um, I was leaving my husband of a 20 years marriage and, um, I was a part of a, a, um, I want to say like a networking group mm -hmm. and the, 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 the leader of the group was like, Oh, Tony's going to be at, you know, the next meeting. And I was like, what? <laughs> you got you know, there's no way Tony's coming to little old Racine to talk, you know, like there's no way. And yeah. so I emailed him with this rep. So I go to the meeting, like, cause I'm never going to turn down a Tony opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care who it's with. Uh -huh. And um, I was talking to the rep cause he was promoting the next UPW um, event. And I literally had just left my, um, my ex and I had $250 to my name. And he's like, you know, it's a buy one, get one free ticket, whatever. I was like, how much is it for one ticket? Just literally one. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, he was like, it's this. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to give you everything that I have. I have no idea where the rest of it's coming from, but if it's meant to be, it will be meant to, it will happen. Right. Yeah. So lo and behold, it was meant to be. And then I ended up having enough to get that free ticket, which I turned around and took my son who was heading into high school. Oh, so it was a great experience for both of us. Yeah. That is an amazing time of his life to, to experience yeah. something like that, isn't it? Incredible. So lucky. Right. The first time I was supposed to go to a UPW, he was being born. <laughs> you know, so here he is now going into high school and and it was his how could I not you know I'm like who better to have on your side going into high school other than Tony Robbins so yeah. <laughs> it was it was a great and I like the way you said that you literally had 250 bucks it was a lot of people say to me it's so expensive I can't afford it but you know I couldn't afford it when I went I literally borrowed the money off my mom good old bank of mom and dad because I didn't have it but I think when you feel that you need to go somewhere, you know, and the universe or your gut is telling you, you have to do this. I think you need to go with that, don't you? And just like you say, just trust and find it. <laughs> you, you, the hotel that I had to pay for was like $1,100. And I was like, oh, yeah. But then boom, from the sale of the home, I got the, re the insurance reimbursement of $1,100 like the day before. And I was like, okay, yeah. okay. All right, universe, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it when it so works. I'm doing it. <laughs> so yeah, when, I mean, then, when you went with your son, what do you think is the biggest thing that you took away with you when you, when you went to the Tony seminar? with him yeah um um hmm. well the experience well, you know it was uh the embarrassing mom you know because i'm the embarrassing mom i'm the high fiver and the one running through everything and my son's over here off to the side like mom and uh -huh. but it was very cool to see him emerge you know, a few days into it and then him coming out with the excitement that I had already had within me because I already knew, you mm -hmm. know, I already knew the power of Tony. <laughs> so yeah. it was very cool to see this emerge out of my son that I had never seen before. We were actually divided, uh, which was, you know, freaky to the mom because um, we were up in, you know, I just took whatever I could get to get in there and we were yeah. up on the the way the top, you know, way shoved, way, way, way. And I get pulled down to VIP for the rest of the whole program. And while he's still up there, which we were supposed to separate anyway, so that way we don't have that, uh, we didn't have that, um, 
uh, like I got to look over and make sure he's, mm -hmm. you know, okay. Yeah. Or he's got to look over to be like, Mom, can I say that? Or, mm -hmm. you know, that whole thing. So we're able to experience it solely on our own, mm -hmm. um, which had a huge impact as well. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say that th the reason why I went there was to really discover if I was in the right place at the right time. I, like I said, I left my husband of 20 mm -hmm. years and I wasn't sure if, you know, you get a little few doubts in yeah. your head, you know, can I do this on my own? Can I not? I've never even had my own bed before, you know, and now mm -hmm. I have my own bed and I love it. <laughs> but you know, like you get scared. You get scared. Yeah. So yeah. everything that had happened with Tony, um, it just all lined up, which gave me so much um what's the word I'm looking for? It's just so much support knowing mm -hmm. that I am heading in the right direction. That's yeah. what I went to you for and that's exactly what I got out from it. And that's the thing and, with, with the UPW family there's there is so much support when you're there everybody is there for you and when you leave there's so many facebook groups and support groups that you just you just never feel alone afterwards do you, you there's always somebody that you can ask advice or you know they're there to catch you because everyone wants the best for each other yes to an extent as long as you have um i think you need more than just people on facebook though <laughs> like when i got home from um, okay, so the really big benefit of UPW is that my son understood. Later on, I went to date with Destiny, as I was mentioning earlier, mm. and I, I had to get his permission to um, be that person that when I came home, because as you know, you're in that different state of mind, right? Yeah. So I asked his permission. I'm like, can, can you be my can you be my one? Can you be that person for me? That's going to be blah. So I could do that. And, you know, and he was totally, he understood and he was graciously, you know, yes, mom, I'll totally be that person for you, which Aww. was great because I was able to be within my boundaries a little bit more, you know, or within that bubble a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Well, until I went outside and then talked to the real world. who <laughs> snapped you kind of out of it after a moment or two. <sighs> But I, I have that anger with my son, yeah. you know, like, so that's what I'm very grateful for. When I came back from UPW the first time, I remember I went into the shops, like to the shopping center to meet my sister and she was uh, running a bit late and I was stood by the shops waiting for her and all these people walking past. And I really felt the urge to just be like, high five, high five, and just high five everyone that was walking past. I wanted to talk to everyone. And then I just had to stand there because I thought I'm going to look like a nutter. <laughs> but you, yes. just, you just really want it. You've got all this energy and you just be like, yes. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes I just let her rip. <laughs> and I don't care what they think. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to high five you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. And then I teach them how to give the most perfect high five. So uh -huh. then it works out even more. <laughs> So what do you think is the biggest thing that has happened to your family since attending? Uh, our communication. Um, you know, he's a teenager, he's going into, well, now he's in sophomore year, he's about to start sophomore year of school, but we all know teenagers and they're, they're, um, they're not so easy to get along with all the time mm -hmm. in a nice way. And as the parent, you struggle as well. Um, so actually it was from Sage, uh, Sage's, uh, comment about the hand over the heart. It was the first thing I did when I came home and, uh, it was huge because it literally just, it literally changes everything and how it's coming about because, you know, as a parent, as a mom, I'm getting frustrated and especially as a single mom now, I like, I've never, I got married when I was 19. I never even lived on my own yet. I go out into the world and now I have a teenage son and I had a dog with a disability, it was a little overwhelming at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I would get frustrated as most of us moms do. And then you get upset at yourself and you run, and you beat yourself up because you know you could have handled it better and whatnot, whatever, whatever, whatever. Putting that hand over the heart has made such a huge difference. Like I can feel, you know, like you can feel yourself start to get upset. Yeah. literally kind of brings it right back the biggest thing that and the first thing that I did to start adjusting mm. 
Otherwise, he's done vision boards and all that kind of stuff for years because I've been a big one for those for years. Yeah, so he's basically been raised with this positive attitude, hasn't he? Yeah, From yeah. Yeah, I have all of old Tony's, you know, not old Tony's, but Tony's old tapes that have been, you know, they went from tapes to CDs to, you know, now they're MP3s or whatnot. And it's funny because my kid will sometimes, well, back in the day, he was like, Mom, did he just say flip to side two or side two or whatever it is, you know, old school? Yeah. And I, I'm like, yep. Because, <laughs> you know, they'll be out in the car. <laughs> But I love the fact that, you know, like I, I, when I was getting divorced, I created a playlist and it was an uplifting playlist and I included mm -hmm. all of Tony's clips, like, um, you know, you are who you hang out with and, you know, what you focus on, you know, and everything along those lines, just little bits. So I mm -hmm. had that friend reminder in between songs and everything along those lines. And, uh, so one would come on and, and then it would switch to a song, it would play its thing and then it would switch to a song and then my son would be like, well, mom kind of a cliffhanger, you know? So then I would have to go back to like the whole Tony seminar for him to hear the whole thing. And that just, to me, makes me feel really, really good, you know, as a mom, because now he's getting education that a lot of our children today don't get. I never got, you know? Yeah. We were never taught about human behavior. Well, if you took that class maybe in college, but not in high school, not in anything that I ever went to. It, yeah. It, you teach yourself yeah and these are like life lessons that we've been taught now aren't they I mean I was I was nearly 40 when I went to UPW and I'd never learned most of the stuff that I learned when I was there I'd never heard it was all new to me all brand new well yeah. and that was when I when I went to date with Destiny um UPW is great we, we walked on the fire you know like we the leaves and everything aligns and uh the date with destiny is what i was 39 now i'm 40 it was like a six month time frame Ooh. but uh i processed 40 years of emotions at date with destiny in those seven days i yeah. just cried the whole entire time <laughs> and everybody kept saying you're glowing i'm like you're insane i've been crying <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't grow up in an environment we talked about emotions. We didn't mm -hmm. do any of that. It was matter of fact, you put it behind you and you mm -hmm. walk it off and you deal with it later, you know, yeah. and we never did. So, you, you know, the thing about having a child is that you always want better for your child than what mm -hmm. you had, right? Yeah. So, with Tony and his beautiful support system and everything that's around, you have that ability to do that for your child. You know, it's not about just giving them, you know, more financial stability. It's not about, you know, doing it, you know, things like that. It's the emotional impact yeah. that you're going to have, that he's going to have on them, you know, so that way they can step out into the environment, into the adult world and not come home. Because, you know, I don't want him coming back. I want him to, you know, well, not like that, but, you know, like that. <laughs> and I think, oh, my. So they can go on. Right. I want him to step out into the world and be able to be like, hey, I got this. You know, yeah. my mom taught me how to do this. You know, I learned how to do this. Okay, what was it again? You know, like little things like before he takes a test, he takes three deep breaths, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a reset. It's a complete yeah. reset, you know. Trust me. Like, we'll have that frantic morning, getting to school and rushing around. I'm like, okay, before you get out of this car, take your three deep breaths. Mm -hmm. And it's literally a reset, you know? It's, it's, Tony's a beautiful thing. <laughs> beautiful thing. So is Sage. Great too. What would you, what would you say to a mum that is thinking about going, but is not sure about leaving her children or, you know, feels guilty for going to do something like that for herself? What advice would you give? Mm, do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> what advice would I give? Uh, do it. Mm. Do it because when you, when you go, it's you will be contagious. You know. So because of the change that has occurred within you, that's going to rub off into your children, and mm. then they start to respond that way too. You know, and they're going to be more supportive of the changes that you're going through. They they are going to be, 
you know, like, yeah, mom, go do it. I want to help you do this with you. Or they're just going to be more supportive. And us as women, we need that support. Mm -hmm. We do, you know, we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we definitely need that support because a lot of times, as you mentioned, we forget. We forget. Exactly. And that's, I mean, that's the motivated mummy's whole ethos is be the person you want your child to be so if you want your children to be confident to go out in the world and be successful you need to do it yourself first and be a fantastic role model they see you doing it and they're like yeah mum done it I can do this too sort of thing so yeah I, I love that just just do it <laughs> simple just do it so where can people find you what are you up to what are you what do you do um well uh the reason why i went to Tony, uh, the upw was to discover is, is you know like i mentioned if i was on the right path because i went through this massive change in my life uh career wise you know home life everything um i am you can find me on facebook at root energetics um dot com or facebook whatever you want to call it um i have a practice where i inspire women and others. I actually I love the fact that you have um, incorporated the Tony aspect to children, you know, because I want to actually bring this to children. They are what I teach people. Um, I teach, um, I inspire people to look within to be able to discover their true unique self using um, um, an ancient old science so we're 5,000 years old and it's it's a science and it's true to this day and it's helped me be able to discover who I am as well as be able to treat myself with foods and lifestyle habits and um, certain energetic things and just all kinds of stuff that has been able to promote my self-healing so mm -hmm. with the information that I've learned including all the stuff from Tony as well, because all of this is like, it's intermingled, you know? Yeah. Um, I want to bring that out to my clients and that's, that's what I do. I help them discover who they are and then how they can support themselves in a unified manner. Oh, it's so important, yeah. isn't it? It's like so <laughs> many people need, they need healing in either a physical way or an emotional way. And like you said to me earlier, not one way fits everybody. And so, right. yeah, it's, it's really important to, to find their individual way for them. So I think that's a fantastic thing that you do. And you say you want to be bringing that into children. So, I mean, all the mums I've spoken to that have been to UPW have said they want to go into schools. They want to do this all for children because they've all said, you know, if I've learned this now, imagine what it would be like if the kids had it their whole life. And like you can see that for your son, can't you? Absolutely. And I keep talking to my son about it because I was like, honey, you know, you can be, we can do this together, you know? Yeah. Like, he's like, mom, you know, you know, get the mom. He talks like a man and he's tall and it's just whatever. Uh -huh. Mom. Like you can just come up for a guest appearance, you know. Like uh -huh. I'd be like doing my thing, and then you can come up, and I'm like, oh, it's Satan, everyone! And then you know, like you'd be like, well, you know, I did this, dude, whatever, blah 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 blah. And then you could be, hey, and you know, but I think it would be great to do the whole, you know, bringing it together. Mm -hmm. I think that it phenomenal way to be able to inspire others and to teach others and to spread the word and get it out yeah so I, I keep asking my sorry broke off no go ahead um I keep asking my youngest if she would come on Facebook or do a live and just tell people how she's changed since I went to UPW and and she's just like no I don't want to do that and I'm just like but you are what I want to show everyone that this could happen you know the mum goes the mum takes the action and the children change. <laughs> and I was like, right. I want to show them how you've changed. And she's just like, <laughs> I, I once took my son to, um, to an event with me. Um, it was an Ayurvedic event because, you know, he, he's been my little guinea pig since I started school. It was him and my son. Like that. 
So as I'm, but he thinks he knows everything because he's one of those, and uh, yeah. which I am too. But I know I don't. So um, he thinks he knows everything. And I was like, okay, why don't you come with me and see what it is that I actually do, you know? Mm -hmm. And so he came with me. And one of the things that he had noticed, because we talk about it afterwards, you know, I treated him like I was training like another business associate, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, yeah, afterwards, I'm like, okay, so what did you, what did you learn? Right. And he's like, you know, every time you would share your story or even the stories about me, him, um, yeah. it would just, it, you get the most response, you know, and everything like that. Because like with my son, he would, you know, they go into that embarrassed, oh my God, you're talking about me again moment. But yet he noticed that was the biggest return that I had gotten from people. Yeah. He's like sharing that with people. You got the biggest response, mom. And I was mm -hmm. like, so you're not upset with me telling everybody about bad BO at age eight? <laughs> that I, you know, like I did that. I was feeding you the wrong fruits and vegetables, you know? So I had to kind of critique. And then I critiqued according to his body constitution. And then oh, it's so much better for me. <laughs> well, until he, like he hit puberty, even though it was still manageable by then. But mm. still, him hearing it was good, you know. Mm. So, and it it allowed him to be able to be like, okay, you know what? She's got a point. It this is what is this is what is helping people. Yeah. You know, they believe it more knowing that I did it with him and mm -hmm. I did it with myself versus just, mm -hmm. you know, strangers or whatever, you know, yeah. it all starts here. It all starts here mm -hmm. in, in home. And I think that's the thing that the biggest thing that I learned from going to UPW and then doing Tony's coaching course afterwards. The biggest thing I learned was everything starts with me, but I can change anything in my whole world by changing my opinion, my emotion, my attitude, my my action, I can change everything with with me, starting with me. And I think that was the biggest thing that I learned. Mm. That's a that's huge. That's yeah. Huge. Well, and, I and have, throughout the year, I don't mean any. Um, that's okay. You, know, it you, go, you go through your little, you know, your life, right? You go through yeah. life when it's never going to always be happy-go-lucky so even when you get down to those lower states of mind he has that way of reminding you hey if you're here it's because you're not doing what you need to do you're not doing what you're meant to do you're mm -hmm. not doing you're not fulfilling your internal needs which yeah. I just went through that it was like oh yeah that's right so look at here I am being happy again because communication <laughs> You know, yeah. love and communication is like number one thing. Uh -huh. So, hey, <laughs> it's it's so true. Like, oh my goodness, the amount it of things. Good it's just oh. the amount of things you learn that you can just take forward into your life, and they're just little things as well that you learn, but huge impact, absolutely huge. Like an avalanche. Yeah. 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 Well, Krista, thank you so much for joining me today. I have loved talking with you. I, we could talk for ages, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it short and sweet so other people can watch it and not take up too much of their time. But I will post your link when I post this. So if anyone wants to find you, they can literally follow you through the link and that they can hear more about your story and more about your journey and what you do. And so I just want to say thank you so much for um, giving us your time and sharing your story. Thank you, Sammy. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Take care and see you soon. <laughs>